This video was made in partnership with CuriosityStream. Being the largest land build in the current meta has its advantages. Size makes you much harder to defeat, simply by nature of having a higher HP stat, and also possibly having your weak points out of reach. However, size alone typically isn't enough to let any particular build reach a high tier spot in the meta, because large size comes with a lot of disadvantages too. The two most important ones are that being a giant makes defeating you worth a lot more experience, and that sustaining giant size requires significantly more food and water. Despite these challenges, there's no question that elephants have carved out a dominant niche in the African meta, which is saying a lot given that Africa is basically the Grandmaster League server of outside. Elephants also boast a sizable player base in the Asia server, so how is it that they're so successful? For that, we'll need to look at the elephant build's stats and abilities. First, their stats. So it's probably no surprise that the elephant's HP and defense stats both are quite high. The massive size of the elephant means it can take hits that would cripple or kill other players, such as the head bash of a fellow elephant. But the elephant also boasts a thick hide that allows it to negate damage of low power attacks, and more importantly, mitigate one of the main downsides of being massive, becoming riddled with parasites. On the offensive side of things, it's probably also no surprise that the elephant boasts a multitude of ways to deal serious damage. Their front-facing tusks act as a powerful disjointed hitbox that can both parry incoming attacks and entail any player too slow to get out of the way. The elephant build is also one of the only builds in the game capable of knocking down trees. This means that despite them not having the height advantage that giraffes do, they can still access the same treetop loot if they need to. It also means players cannot escape an elephant's attack by climbing up a tree. The elephant's trunk can also be used as a blunt force weapon or a grapple, but honestly that only scratches the surface of what a trunk is useful for. We'll come back to that. In the mobility department, we find one of the elephant's only weaknesses. Their top speed is nowhere near sufficient to let them outrun an attacking player or chase down a target. Luckily, their other stats generally mean that they don't have to worry about this. However, low mobility has other implications too. Elephants are easily blocked by environmental barriers because they lack the ability to jump. They aren't particularly fast swimmers either, although they have ways of managing this weakness too. Their last notable stat is their incredible intelligence level. It is among the highest in the game, tied for second place with the cetaceans like dolphins and whales. This gives them access to the tool use ability, problem solving capabilities, cross species cooperation based strategies, and the ability to remember places on the minimap useful for survival, such as watering holes in times of drought. Due to the elephant's long lifespan, their intellect can cause them to gain incredible amounts of wisdom over the course of their playthrough to the point where an experienced elephant may have better knowledge of its territory than even a human. So in terms of stats, elephants obviously have one of the highest base stat totals in the game, lacking only in mobility and stealth. But this alone would not be enough for me to give them a top tier rating. So what abilities do they employ to make use of their stats and dominate such a competitive meta? There are two that I want to discuss. First, their ears. The elephant's ears serve multiple purposes. They're more sensitive than human ears to sound, particularly low-frequency sounds, aka the kinds of sounds elephants can make. Because of that, elephants can communicate over great distances via infrasound. This can be critical for coordinating team strategies and warning your teammates when danger approaches or if another herd is encroaching on your territory. In addition to their auditory uses, the elephant's ears also grant the elephant a heat resistance buff. Their ears can be flushed with blood and flapped around to lower their body temperature, ensuring that they never take damage from overheating. This buff is much more integral to gameplay in the African server, and so players tend to spec into larger ears when trying to compete there. That's a good ability, but I'm gonna cut to the chase. Basically everything OP about the elephant can be traced back to their signature ability, their trunk. Because this ability does everything. Because it's a modified nose, the trunk grants a bonus to all detection and search rolls based on smell. This lets elephant players pinpoint which direction they need to head in order to find more food or water, and lets them know if an enemy player is nearby but smell barely scratches the surface of what a trunk can do. The trunk's core use is as a fifth appendage. The elephant's actual limbs aren't very versatile. Outside of standing and walking, the most advanced move they can do is a pretty simple kick. The trunk, however, has multiple combat moves, including a simple bash attack, and more importantly, a highly effective grab attack. The bash attack is honestly worse than a kick in terms of damage, although it does have better range but the grab attack can make certain matchups downright unwinnable for the other player. Grabs aren't just useful for attacks though. 
Being able to pick up and carry items is the hallmark of a high tier character that can make use of tools. Elephants are known to use sticks as weapons, massively extending the hitbox of their trunk swipe attack. They can also throw items, which theoretically could give them an absolutely massive attack range. They aren't very accurate with their throws yet, but once the elephant player base masters this tech, I wouldn't be surprised if the community starts calling for bans. But again, there's still more that the trunk can do. The next use it can have is for intimidation. Elephants can use their trunk to execute the move Trumpet Blast. This AoE attack casts an intimidation debuff on all surrounding players, and is extremely effective for clearing an area. Control over a watering hole can mean the difference between leveling up or getting a game over, and the Trumpet Blast attack is integral to the elephant's success in driving away other players from these control points without actually needing to risk a physical battle. Lastly, I mentioned before that elephants are slow swimmers. Normally this would be a problem because it means elephants would have trouble crossing large bodies of water. They aren't dense enough to sink to the bottom and gallop across like hippos do. However, even though it might take them a while to cross, elephants have no reason to fear drowning because they can use their trunk like a snorkel, completely negating the need to worry about their O2 meter draining. Aside from humans, elephants have no losing matchups. While they are vulnerable during the first few levels of their playthrough, before they are bulky enough to shrug off most attacks, the elephant's team strategies are usually enough to protect the noobs. Hopefully this video convinced you how overpowered elephants, and particularly the trunk ability, are. By the way, you may have noticed that my last video actually got blocked. While I hope to have the video restored soon, you should know that the blocked video as well as another completely original video are both available on Nebula, the video streaming service created and owned by several independent creators including myself. It's a platform where creators can post whatever content they like without having to worry about rogue algorithms issuing copyright claims or YouTube's demonetization policies. And because of our business partner CuriosityStream, us creators are given opportunities to pursue much grander projects with a higher production value. Both of the videos I've currently got only on Nebula are exactly that. Both of those videos feature footage from CuriosityStream's documentary Amazing Dino World, a brand new CuriosityStream original that's easily on par with Walking with Dinosaurs in production quality. And you can get access to their documentary and my Nebula originals at the same time, because the best way to get access to Nebula is through our bundle with CuriosityStream, which gives you access to both amazing streaming sites. And hey, if you just want to learn more about Pachyderm builds, there are plenty of other documentaries on CuriosityStream you can watch too, such as Ice Age Giants and Walking with Beasts, both of which have entire episodes centered around mammoths and mastodons, the pioneers of the Pachyderm build. So head on over to CuriosityStream.com slash and start your free trial of both services. Last but not least, special thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and thank you for watching. <laughs>